Hi, this is Frances Herdes. Today is such a rainy day here in Hamburg and it even gets quite cozy in my home here. What do you love to do on rainy days? For me, it's a wonderful time to catch up with things I didn't do on a sunny day. It's a wonderful time to relax and to recharge. So in this video, I'm going to show you the three fragrant paradises you can dive into on such a rainy day. The rain is pouring on the roof here. The rain is, has been pouring down for the last few hours and during the night. And for me, it gets really cozy inside. I don't know about you, but I love rainy days. They have something special. So the first paradise you can create yourself is that right from the comfort of your home, you can dive into the Australian rainforest. I visited my aunt a few years ago in Perth and visited Sydney then and the three sisters. And I really, really love the rainforest. It's such a wonderful fragrance in there. It's warm, it's humid, and you just feel so wonderful. There's such a variety of beautiful plants. You meet so many native animals and you can just wind down and relax. So why not take the Australian rainforest into your own home? You can do that. I've um, been at the Three Sisters near Sydney in the Blue Mountains National Park. I absolutely loved it and I love to create this feeling in my home again. You know, the Three Sisters, they are quite steep mountains right in the middle of the rainforest and they go quite high. So between the three of them, there's these tiny little wooden bridges. And when you walk on them in between the three sisters, you get up really high and there's not a lot below you. So it's not for the people who are frightened of heights, but it's a wonderful walk through the rainforest and on these tiny bridges. You really have to dare to do it, but it's an adventure. And I love to invite this adventurous and this harmonious feeling into my home with a special fragrant paradise you can create in your home. It's called Kuranya, which means rainbow, because this special blend contains the most important essential oils from Australia naming tea tree oil, conseya, eucalyptus, you name it, all the scents you can smell in Australia. And if you've ever been there, you probably like the koala bears as much as I did, the kangaroos and the koala bears. I remember how we stopped the car at every kangaroo we saw. <laughs> it was funny. And then we saw kangaroos fighting and kangaroos with babies in their laps. It's, it's a wonderful atmosphere. And then the koala bears, they are so relaxed in the trees. I mean, look at us. Sometimes we stress out on minor things in our daily lives. And the koala bears, they are just so relaxed all day. They move very slowly up and down these eucalyptus trees, which are beautiful, by the way and such a wonderful fragrance when you visit the koala bears. And they move so slowly and so relaxed, I think we can all model them in our daily lives. And that's because they chew the eucalyptus leaves every day. And eucalyptus really freshens you up, it relaxes you, it revitalizes and energizes you. It's a wonderful feeling. And that's why in this Kuranya blend, you have eucalyptus in there as well. Eucalyptus really lets you breathe again. When you had a stressful week so far, when you've had a stressful time, and now the cozy rainy day comes along and you can really take the time to breathe in and out. And it's very simple. I mean, I just always take a drop of this wonderful Australian blend onto the palms of my hands. I rub it in a little bit and then I dive into my Australian rainforest. Mm. Oh my God, it's so fragrant. I don't want to put my hands down again. You will probably have this feeling with quite a few 
of the blends and especially this one because it's it's like a bouquet of flowers it's like diving into the rainforest and imagine having that in your own home in europe or in the us or wherever you are and it's such a rainy day and you can just invite the rainforest into your home so what i also do i mean one of the simplest things you can do is take a drop dive into it take a minute to just breathe in and out and relax and you get instantly connected to the australian rainforest there's nothing simpler than doing that then what i also do is i put three to five drops of this special blend into my diffuser looks like a raindrop and or like an, a fragrant oil drop and i just have it at my desk all day especially in the morning um, i take a little bit of time to really get fresh and awake i always take my time to meditate to do some exercises and to really get awake so this blend helps me to be a little bit more refreshed and energized and to really start the day in a good way and the diffuser i let it run for three to four hours it just switches off on its own so i just set it one time and then i can forget it but of course i don't forget it because i have this wonderful fragrance and atmosphere in my home and then around midday i refill the diffuser and now i dive into the beautiful rose flower garden my grandpa had my grandpa he used to make chocolates he was a professional praline don't know how you call it in english he, he made chocolates and these little sweets that really are exclusive and fit together and he told many interesting stories about what he did in his life and one of them was when he had his exam as a praline and he had to put this box together of the chocolates and sweets and they had to be very especially made and especially put together so that each of the tastes go well together and the whole thing is like a really nice little present and then he told me because as a child of course i said oh my god grandpa you went to a chocolate kind of factory or chocolate kitchen every day how amazing is that i could live there all day and then he said well the first three days you love the smell of chocolate and then you just go there and you cannot really smell it anymore because when you eat it in between you get quite satisfied with it i couldn't imagine that as a child because i loved chocolate and when i visited my grandparents there was always like the the refrigerator the freezer was full of little sweets and little things it was wonderful but the most wonderful thing was really my grandpa's flower garden because he also was a gardener and i was always amazed that no matter what season it was there was always something flowering and budding and blooming in his garden because he was so skilled and so loving and so knowledgeable that he knew exactly what kind of plant what kind of flower would blossom in such a season so he did a lot of gardening and he always had flowers blossom blossoming everywhere and i remember as a child i really loved my how do you call it i think a peacemaker the thing you have in your mouth as a baby as a child and i absolutely loved mine so one day my grandpa suggested let's plant a peacemaker tree don't know if peacemaker is the right word but then we planted this little thing into the ground we put it into the soil in his garden and then the next day when i woke up there was a tiny little tree having grown from this little peacemaker and <laughs> i didn't believe my eyes there was this little peacemaker like a fruit hanging on this tree and it was amazing i mean of course trees don't grow in one day you have to be patient you have to water them you have to nourish them but of course my grandpa knew my grandpa knew 
I was there for a week or usually over the weekend to visit them and he just made a little loving fun about it and he really enjoyed that. So we planted my little peacemaker tree. And I really love to invite this kind of childhood feeling, the flowery feeling into my own home with another special blend I want to show you. It's made of different flower oils and citrus oils. With the citrus oils who are ripening in the sun all day, they really take up a lot of the sun's energy and they invite a very good mood into your home, even if it's quite a dark and rainy day, maybe even a cold day. And that's what I really like about it, because especially in the dark seasons or when it's rainy, it really invites the good mood into your whole being. And the other part of this blend are flower oils like geranium. I remember my grandpa's geraniums right there at the window and I always admired them. And then there's rose in here and ylang ylang. Flowers really helping you to open up and to enjoy such a rainy day. You know, it can be a rainy day outside like here. It can also be a rainy day in your mood and you don't really feel fantastic today or you have times where you feel quite stressed or overwhelmed and then it's good to use the flower oils to open you up again. So I deeply enjoy this blend when it comes to feeling the joys of life. So very simple again, you just take a drop onto the palms of your hands and if you want to create your own little diffuser, then you just apply it on your chest because by your body warmth, you always get this wonderful fragrance into your nose again. And you also take it up via the skin without getting fatty here. And what I also like to do is around midday, when I've already been productive or energized myself for the day, when I get up late, then I love to put this special blend into my diffuser. I wouldn't recommend to use candles. I know many people know, um, or many people use a candle and a water bath to put some fragrance in the room. I personally, I always got a headache from that when my mom used to do it in my childhood, sometimes she would lit up a candle and then put some fragrance in the room. But by then we didn't know the true and natural essential oils. So it was just some synthetic fragrance and I always got a headache from that. It was horrible, that smell in the house. But now, of course, I diffuse it and then I don't have any broken molecules fragrant molecules in the air, but the, the intact ones. And yeah, you just got all the properties of the oil still in the air without damaging it. So this is a very joyful blend to create your second fragrant paradise on a rainy day. And I'll show you one more because a fragrant day, um, a fragrant and a rainy day not only means to catch up with things I didn't do on a sunny day, but it also means for me that it gets very cozy inside, that I relax, that I let go, that I relieve things in my body, emotionally and spiritually. So it's always a day to recharge again. So there's, let's go into the herbal garden now. The third paradise you can create and invite into your home on a rainy day is a herbal one because herbs, they really re-energize and revitalize you. They cleanse you on all different levels. And this blend, I especially, I just simply take a drop. So you see, it's, it's so simple. I mean, you can create your own little fragrant paradise just with one drop. It takes a minute, not even a minute. If you enjoy it, if you take a few deep breaths, then you can take a minute or two or three. It really doesn't take long. And I apply this one on my shoulders and on my neck because I know during busy days, I often shoulder a lot of things. 
I put a lot of things on my shoulders. When I coach people, when I work with people, for example, you know, especially us women, we shoulder so many things. We put so much packages on our shoulders, emotionally, physically, on all areas of our life. And I use a rainy day with this herbal blend to consciously release those things, to give back packages that aren't even mine, for example, that I carry for someone else, or to just release things that have been making me tense, for example. So I use that rainy day to consciously release that. And this blend really helps also after gardening, after training, after exercising, when you use muscles you didn't know you had before, and then you feel those muscles over the next few hours and days, this is a wonderful blend to put on your muscles and to really, really release <clears throat> this tension and be relaxed and in the flow again. So three fragrant paradises you can create on a rainy day. The first one is when you take a deep dive into the Australian rainforest, when you refresh yourself, when you take time to breathe in and out. The second one is to dive into your childhood experiences or in the most beautiful flower garden you've ever seen. And the third one is to really release, be in the herbal garden. And the best thing is just with a few drops or even just one drop on your hands, you can really create this paradise right now for you. And if you love watching videos on such a rainy day just as much as I do, then I invite you warmly to my page, livefragrantly.com. There you can watch videos from beautiful places around the world where I show you how to release negative thoughts and emotions so you don't have to be sad on a rainy day, how to re relax your body and how to realize your dreams with essential oils. So let me take you on that journey, join my fragrant group here on Facebook, live fragrantly with essential oils and also go to my website livefragrantly.com and it's so easy to create your own little paradise of refreshing, relaxing and just a paradise like atmosphere. So what's your recipe on a rainy day? Do you have a special thing you do, um, something you deeply enjoy on a rainy day? Please feel free to drop it in the comments here. And also have fun in creating your own paradise with the three fragrant paradises I just gave you. Get the oils and everything on livefragrantly.com and I'm happy to take you on this fragrant journey. So have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!